Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To the most I yeah, be the glory and honor. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shalom, shalom. I want to welcome everyone to the West African Hebrew Israelites, the hidden identity. Thank you so much for joining today, today's teachings. I know your life will never be the same. I'm happy to be back. I am happy to be back. I, I am happy to have the opportunity bringing this uh, teachings back. Musa, yeah, I thank you. I thank the Lord so much. I'm so grateful. And I thank um, our viewers. I thank our subscribers. And may Yah bless you. May Yah bless you. May Yah enlarge your course. Today, our teachings, we are doing the tribe in Ghana, um, being the Ashanti tribe. Ashanti tribe. I think you can tell by the title already. Uh, we'll be um, discussing our teachings based on the Ark of the Covenant. Um, could this be the actual Ark of the Covenant in the Bible? L uh, like with Ashanti people, Ashanti uh, kingdom, or the king have this particular Ark of the Covenant? Could this be the actual Ark of the Covenant? So please, please stay till and bear with me till we are done uh, with this um, teachings. Before we start, uh, we are the covenant keeping people. So, um, when you read the book of um, Second Chronicles, chapter six, fourteen, um, it say, um, and said, "O Lord Yahweh, God Elohim of Israel, there is no god like Thee in the heavens, nor in on nor on the earth." which keepeth covenants and showeth mercy unto their servant, that walketh before thee with all their heart. So, um, be blessed. <laughs> so, well, let's move on. Um, our first picture that we have on the screen, that will be the map of Africa, being the northern part through the central half part of Africa. We have Arrow Point in Ghana, um, the tribe, that we're about to um, touch on their history will be the Shanti tribe in Ghana. We have so many teachings about that Ashantis, um, maybe more than five videos about them being um, their kinship with so many, I don't remember, but like we did more than five, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Proving that they are the tribe of Judah. Uh, proving that they are Hebrews. They have uh, Levites among them, like so many things. Through their culture, um, their symbols, and I think the stool being the seat or the um, instruments of their, their king. So many videos. So if you are interested, please uh, go through um, uh, our channels. I mean, the videos. Go through the videos. You will see. Um, the uh, teachings that maybe you'll be interested in and keep it up and watch it share give it thumbs up we have the next uh, picture this one is map of ghana and it had uh we i mean circle the ashanti um area being ashanti kudomo ashanti states region so this is what we have on the screen the next one this one is more clearer it's uh, um, kind of bigger than the other one with the show a minute. So this one we have arrow pointing the shanty. You see the shanty. So these are um the pictures that we have or this will be the territory of the Ashanti kingdom. Who um today's teaching like I said will be based on as you check the title already, the Ark of the Covenant. And before showing the Ashanti um Ark of the Covenant that they have or to prove that they um, Ashantis have the Ark of the, Ark of the Covenant. Uh, we years ago, maybe three years or if I'm not mistaken, we did uh, teachings on um, the tribe of Limba in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, and those tribe or the, this particular tribe have uh, something they say replica, not the same. Theirs they say replica of the Ark of the Covenant, and. Um, Throughout the history, popular place that I know um, have the Ark of Covenant or 
they say they have a kind of arc of the covenant it will be ethiopia so we will compare both um the ethiopia one the zambia the zimbabwe first ethiopia then we'll do um the shanti arc two so first we have the one um the arc of the covenant from the zimbabwe this war uh, the zimbabwe people claim but their claim they say replica similar it doesn't mean there's the actual arc so this what uh, we have on the screen right now um the arc of the covenant from zimbabwe or zimbabwe arc of the covenant we have the next one on the screen this one too is the zimbabwe one it's in the museum you see the one I, uh, I showed a minute ago with this is the same thing, but uh, this one is in the museum. Quote and quote, Ashkenazi Jews are what uh, studying it, searching it, looking at it, how old it is for them to prove that yes, it's from Israel, or yes, these people are actual uh, Jews or Hebrews. We have the next one on the screen, and this particular one is the Ashanti kingdom act of the covenant act of the covenant another one on the screen right now this one is the act of the covenant from ethiopia or ethiopia act of the covenant but yes they have cloth or design covering the act so you cannot tell um, whether it's wooden act or it's gold box so i mean this is all you can find there's nothing that like we can make up and bring the whatever um the actual thing for you guys to see but this is only what we we can find to bring it and show to you guys the one um the zimbabwe one if um you, you can see with the picture clearly you realize we realize that that one it is wood one we'll bring it again but no no it is wooden arc but they say it's replica so that's fine we have another one on the screen right now this particular one um i found this picture or i saw this picture years ago for some reason i don't know why i just kept it on my um, um on my um my laptop i just kept it uh i don't know something struck me i would say this the work of the ruha i just kept it like the moment i set my eyes on it i just kept it i didn't delete it or nothing just kept it on my app i like my photos so when uh we saw we have uh what do you call the shanty one i compared this picture i quite remember i said no i've seen something like this before so i went and dig and find this compare both um arc i'll bring the next one so i have the next one on the screen right now you can tell the one um on the top will be for the movies or whatever but i shan't one on the bottom as do i see similarity yes i do it's the same thing like how can these people and you know one we saw they don't go to church they don't know the bible and um whatever they worship idol i mean like you name it so so many names that one can give them how can they have this um pattern and the size of the box calling ark of the covenant how can um as ashanti people have it or the king have it or the kingdom have it it's something that one have to ponder on it it's like it's mind-blowing to me anytime um we put the message together or the teachings together is that easy to me sometimes i look at it and i can't believe what i'm seeing like everything is on full so uh, i praise you yeah, having opportunity coming each time sharing these messages and this is so strange that the ashanti as like i said the zimbabwe one the ethiopia one is all over the internet or like ev like when you search you can read about it and all that but the ashanti one is lips tight like it's very hard to hear even to is like literally rare like you can't search anything about it and all these years all like years no one know this uh story like literally so why this is quiet like 
zip no one is sharing anything about it but like especially ethiopia is all over like all over that they have the ark of the covenant so why um ashanti kingdom one is secret why we have the next picture on the screen and this particular one you see three or four men um going around the king is in the middle look at the rope that the king is putting on um white and there's they don't they do use color fabric a lot but it's rare or uh, hardly for you to come across like their kinship or their elders wearing pure white like that like pure white spotless uh, fabric is very very real and they are you can see the arc of their life they have gold uh, platter or gold plates uh pen on the uh, ground on the floor that the ark of the covenant is what uh, like it's on top sorry i'm short of weight waist and the king is going around this um ark of the covenant and to their history or uh, they said um the it's form of worship so the king have to go run run three times we have another one that you can see again this the king is going around the ark of, of the covenant is there they have to uh, go around around like as our forefathers and our foremothers went through the wall of jericho for seven times so this one they go on it three times before then um, they will stop let's read deuteronomy chapter 28 1 up to 3 or 4 Exodus 28. And take thou unto thee Aaron thy brother, and his sons with him, from among the children of Israel, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office, even Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons. And thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother, for glory and for beauty. And thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they may make Aaron's garments to consecrate him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And these are the garments which they shall make, a breastplate, and an ephod, and a robe, and a broidered coat, a mitre, and a girdle. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother, and his sons, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And they shall take gold, and blue, and purple. Sorry. It's Exodus chapter 28, um, 1 through 4. Sorry. So, um, the reason why um, we have to um, go to the Torah or the Bible is especially the, the way they dress because there's no yeah, normal dressing. I'll be honest with you. When you search the Ashanti's kingdom or Ashanti people, they use colors a lot. So, this one is like, no, no, it's off. Uh, what they are normally dressing we have another uh, picture on the screen being the king and his people going around um run on uh, around uh, going around the ark of the covenant sorry <laughs> um please if you look at the picture uh we have red arrow pointing something one of the men leading uh or walking in front of the king carrying something and it looked like um shaped like coconut uh, shaped like like a pineapple or like a big or egg or whatever big thing um this picture i saw um no now like it has been a while i was wondering what is that what it does like i couldn't put my mind around it but when the time come that we have to put this message together then the picture became clear on the Ark of the Covenant, there was a pot that Yahweh instructs Moshe to what? Tell Aaron to put manna in it. So <laughs> let's move on. We have the next picture. And this picture will be the uh, Ark of the Covenant. We have the um, the word of the Musa being the, um, the Ten Commandments. Then Aaron uh, rod. Then the pots, so we have uh, on top of the picture, we have arrow pointing the pots. But the pots, 
the Torah tells us or the Bible says clear is not made of clay but made of gold. So we have two um, gold pots on the bottom. Both left and right are gold pots. Let's see. Uh, Hebrew chapter 9, 1 to 4 talk about how um, talk about the golden pots in the Ark of the Covenant. Hebrews 9. Then verily the first covenant had also ordinances of divine service and a worldly sanctuary. For there was a tabernacle made, the first wherein was the candlestick and the table and the showbread, which is called the sanctuary. And after the second veil, the tabernacle which is called the holiest of all, which had the golden censer and the ark of the covenant overlaid round about with gold, wherein was the golden pot that had manna, and Aaron's rod that budded, and the tables of the covenant, and over So you see, Hebrew 9, 1 through 4, describe these golden pots. Tell us, um, I think Exodus go by this pot, but Hebrew 9 go deep into details, describe to us as golden pots. So um, we did find this to show um, how the golden pot will be. So let's compare this image of the golden pot with the one the guy or the man had in his, uh, on top of his head or carrying. We have the next picture on the screen right now. So the golden pot that I will show, we have the same thing on the bottom. So look on the, I mean, like on, to, on top of the golden pot, we have two uh, pictures being two arrow pointing. The same shape, the same size of golden pot the guy is carrying. But the one that Shanti have, they have overlay though is golden pot, but they have a white linen and I think white net to cover. I don't know whether that like is holy to them, so they have to like, be cautious how they will keep it or they will handle it or something. So um, I thank yeah that everything was uh, like it is unfolding for us to all have the message clear. Let's move on. The next one will be two um, pictures put in together. The Ark of the Covenants being the one Ashanti uh, one uh, was uh, it is on top and different one on the bottom. But the the corner or the size of the the side of the um, Ark, the Ashanti one being the yellow uh, arrow pointing. You can see like it's like something is what broke or pitch on the side, like from the top to the bottom. I see pitches like something broke or like something like came off there. So um, on top, there's no, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the cherubims by the side, definitely you can tell there's something like the, there will be a stick or like a um, ring that was not there anymore. So that is the reason I put the two pictures to show and for you guys, I mean, for us to have comparison, to compare. We have another one. Then this one will be the uh, Zimbabwe one. On the bottom, we can tell uh, there will be a ring on the arc. And uh, the top one is like replica or something that uh, they did to show that if it is new, it will be like this. That's the, that is the one on top. So that's what we, we did find to put it together and show you guys. We have another one on the screen right now. So uh, we have three pictures put in together, being the Ashanti Kingdom one, um, the one the Zimbabwe have, then the Ethiopian one. Um, let's think about it. Let's take a minute and think about it. Though the one Ethiopia, Ethiopia's cover or they are covering this, so we can't tell, but it's well known that they have the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, which one is strange? And it look exactly like, like the Ark of the Covenant. And again, why the Shanti one is quiet? It's a secret. No one know this is secret. No one talk about it. And even their their elders are zipped on it. Why? Let's think about it. Because the Zimbabwe one, though it is like they say replica, but the white people is all over. You know, like all over. But the Shanti one, no one can go closer to it. Like they, they are zip on it.
so let's think about it and we can give comments as we are putting the um, teachings together something struck me you can like the 71 the box uh, the uh, bible tells us it's like as we read the book of uh what do you call it hebrews it tells us the uh, ark of the covenant is gold wooden and go over lay, uh, gold lay over it like cover so it's gold so all the ark of the covenant when you google you find it's gold pure gold and you see it's yellow we have a picture on the screen right now so i was wondering and i know you guys will be wondering why it's not yellow and if you know that shanti they like blend blend they they parade in gold their land or every corner <laughs> even people houses you can dig gold so why the ark of the covenant is darker and it's not yellow like what we have on the screen right now why so we did do uh, we did a research maybe this ark is more than maybe thousand years who knows or 500 years so let's move on we have a picture on the screen another picture on the screen right now. this one four pictures put it together so the shanty uh ark of the covenant will be top left then uh, we have different picture top right bottom and center um so the top right say um the gold pot gold pot it's um 1900 the be 1900 uh, to 1940 right that is indian gold pot if they are selling it on ebay indian gold pot so 100, 100 years plus but look at the color the color is dark the color is dark then the one on the bottom um another good pot say 1850 to 1899 from india they are selling that one on ebay to for uh for sale on ebay then on the left um asian gold coin that one there was no date on it but you can see how the gold coin is already dark so what i'm saying ashanti maybe ashanti one is more than 200 years 2000 years more than a thousand years how many years i can see like my wonderment i know you guys will be wondering why the, if it's uh, the ark of the covenant why is it dark so we went ahead and did a research dig dig and find this to show um you guys how um like the longer the gold stay because it's metal it's iron it tend to the color tend to change so um <laughs> i'm blessed to um bring this message and i thank the most here yeah. i pray that these messages will bless you these messages will change your life and you can do your own research dig deep and do your own research um i'm just a messenger don't shoot the messenger don't insult please please let's discipline our our tongue if you don't understand it just um do your own research that will help for you to um, have the message clear please let's do that and i'm blessed by um receiving um not only applause i give all the uh tribute or i give all the thanksgiving to the most uh, but people do their dna um um 23 i mean different dna and they will come on it so they did dna they are from here they did dna they are from here it just is so amazing do i know the reason why or this day and they uh yeah want me to do these teachings want us to bring these messages no i don't we don't like for me to open my mouth and tell you guys i do know i'm lying through my teeth i don't i really i don't i got no clue and i got no hands in it but i thank yeah um for me to hear people saying and they, you can tell they are so pleased to uh see or uh, watching the videos and all that so may you bless each and every one of us um may you bless us and when you read the book of Numbers, or i'll end here with my teachings <laughs> when you read the book of Numbers, chapter 6 through 27 it's a blessing on the children of israel or israel the blessing of the children of israel and the lord yahweh spoke unto uh, moshe saying speak unto aaron and his sons saying on this day was ye shall bless the, the children of israel saying unto them 
the Lord Yahweh bless thee and keep thee. The Lord Yahweh make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Numbers chapter 6, 27. I am so grateful for everyone that watches my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for sharing the videos. May Yah bless you and keep you. In Yeshua's name, Shalom everyone.